before the super super max is kicking like that the super maxes i think go up like 10 to 20 percent every year so like by the end of next year the biggest deal gonna be like 55 million a season yeah they're like 400 million dollar contracts yeah so like i think denver is is setting themselves up for a long run I hope Giannis is able to come back and respond next year. Maybe we'll see what it's the Celtics be tough do, the but I don't know. I don't know how to keep... I also keep... think Giannis might wind up leaving. I, I don't mean, think he leaves either this going year, to New York sure. or Chicago. I said Chicago makes the most he's, sense, but he's the issue... He's like he thinks about playing in Chicago The issue day. with the Bulls is... The, the, man... That franchise has some questions right now. Obviously, Lonzo, if Lonzo never plays again, what do you do with Vucevic? Um, the roster isn't that expensive, but it's expensive enough. You got Zach at $200 million. And then if you were to bring Giannis in again with new CBA, you would have Giannis and you would have Zach. And then you got to fill it damn near with like minimums the rest of the way. But I believe Giannis re-upped the year before they won a championship. It don't matter. He's on the max. No, but I'm saying no. But I'm saying I think he still has two years left on his deal. But he's not going to get all the way through that contract, right? Yeah, why not? I think he might. You don't think he'll renegotiate? Why? To get more money, I don't no, think he'll if resign he this out, summer. If he goes out on the on the on the open market, he'll be able to get a super max at the highest level from any team. He could just pick his team. Uh, no, like like that's like, how it works. Bro. But no, but doesn't no? It is how it works. But like, can't when, the Bucks when, give you more? Isn't that yeah, the whole point yeah, of the super yeah, max? Yeah, 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 yeah but but at that point, two years from now or a year and a half from now, you Giannis, you really up like five hundred m's. You really just want to go play where you want to go. And if I go to New York, I, that little thirty million dollars y'all gonna give me, I'm gonna make a. Uh, Ten times that in New York, like imagine him and Brunson in three years. I mean, so every years. player could do that, but nobody does. Yeah, but so it, I but, just but I think over the past couple of years, he's expressed his his um his desire to. I, I haven't I haven't heard him say that he wants to stay long term. I've heard him say that he's not thinking about the future and his free agency. But he but like he doesn't know what the future will be because of his children, and I think that he doesn't want to stay in Milwaukee for the rest of his life. And, and to me, y'all say he's not the face of the NBA is because we talked about it last podcast. They're in the 53rd television market. Why would I not want to leave $30 million on the table to go to New York to make 150 in endorsements or go to Chicago and at least make $50 million in endorsements? You're going to see Giannis at face every, on every billboard, B. Mo Harris, all of that shit in Chicago. I'm not saying he shouldn't do it. I mean, if I was any big star, I didn't care where I started. I would only like he's literally 20 times more money just off the court he could just go take all that money jaws leaving yeah. on the court <laughs> because like it, because it fucks Pistol up the market job. also agents, agents, Pete. agents and players match because it like fucks up the market when you like do that also i can fit in the air up there when i feel so clear i've been in another game